be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple way to create your own unique sounds in Alchemy. Um, you know, using Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and check this out. So basically, I have this this like basic loop I created. I'm just gonna let y'all hear it. Um, Okay, so literally just does that over and over again. That's what the loop is. But what we're gonna do is open up Alchemy and I'm gonna show you how you can take this and then create your own unique sounds here in Alchemy. So right now, obviously you can go through here and select sounds through category, subcategory, genre, temporary, and stuff like that. But what you can do to affect these sounds and tweak them in even more, because I mean, obviously we can see here that you got different things that you could do and stuff like that instead of going with the browse or the simple go with advance so click on that and then there's going to be a couple different options here it's actually going to show you on each of these uh instrument sounds like kind of what's building this and then you can actually um change things up because a lot of these are built with different um instruments so this has a saw that's a saw sounding instrument that was being you know, manipulate it. So let me do this. I'm going to turn off all of these except for one at a time. And you'll see what's being, you know, used to make these. Let's check this out. And see, I can come in here and uh, basically change the volume, pan, chorus, and stuff like that. And then I can come over here on these oscillators and change up stuff as well. So let's check that out. So we come over here to this B part and then turn that on, turn that off. Now we got this, we can edit this one. Then you can put them back together. Now you also could do some other stuff like come in here and actually change the instrument sounds on some of these so let's say on this uh this saw i'm gonna turn this one off so i can come over here and we can load different stuff here different sounding things and it can give it a different feel to what we got going on let's check this uh square arp out Also change these as well. So now when I come over here and turn, you know, turn all that stuff on. You can come over here and pretty much have your own unique sound. So like, like again, you can come over here, mess with all this stuff. And pretty much after you have, you know, doctor everything up the way you want to, you can come over here and do a save as, save this as whatever you want. So we'll just say crazy um, synth. So now we can just come over here and start messing around with some of these as well. Thank you. 
So we created a different, whole different vibe here. So same thing, I could just go under that, save as, I'll say ARP Adventure 2. And again, you can affect all of these different things. You don't have to just go with in advance, but you can come over here and start in the simple first, you know. You can create something super crazy with this. This is adventure three and it goes on from there from there from there from there i mean like i said you guys got all these different options um shaping up the you know the sine waves and different type of waves just to create and mop you know mold the sound anything crazy I mean you know what I'm saying and we can say this one as Chris art too but yeah I mean this start up exploring some of these different options let me just see if we can just cook up something even newer than this and then just do something else on that let me see mute this out we'll go to some type of clean stuff pick something in here Cool. So we have another melody in here we're going to mess with. So quantize it real quick. And just to keep it simple, just use the first half of this. So that's our first sound that we're starting with. Now you can just come over here and you can start with the simplistic aspect of this. Then you can go to the advanced and start messing around with some of these other aspects. So going from like sine to, to from saw to sine wave, that makes a di big difference.
So this is a little bit of a like, you know, sound design basically. So yeah, man, just wanted to show you all this way that you can, you know, make your own unique sounds within Logic using Alchemy. So appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you also head over to my website, bemakingbasics.com. Grab those courses, grab the sound kits, and grab the templates. It's going to definitely help speed up the process of you learning how to make beats and bangers in Logic Pro, GarageBand, things like that. If you don't do anything else, make sure you're subscribed. Also join the channel membership. To, it's only $3 a month and you get extra videos and everything like that. But appreciate y'all and I will see you in the next video, bro.